The economy reigns the number one issue for voters heading into this year's election, but polling experts say they're starting to see some shifts after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. Michael, there are some critical races in North Carolina where abortion access could be a key issue. Right, and Governor Cooper tried to stress that when he signed an executive order yesterday dealing with abortion access. And some experts I talked to say there are a few key races where this could prove to be critical. Now that the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade, states have the authority to decide to what extent abortion should be legal. David McLennan conducts polling at Meredith College. He says since that decision, there has been some increased enthusiasm among Democratic voters, including young people. Can it be sustained in terms of creating enthusiasm and what needs to be done by the candidates to keep that interest high. He says the economy and inflation remain the top issue and President Joe Biden's approval rating has dropped throughout his term. Chris Cooper at Western Carolina University says that'll drive voters in many races. But there are a handful of races for the state general assembly where an issue like abortion can have a major impact. Republicans only need to flip five seats to retake a supermajority. If it matters anywhere, those are the exact races where it's going to matter. Those incredibly tight races, the very few competitive races that are spread throughout the state. Valerie Jordan. Governor Roy Cooper highlighted those races Wednesday as he stood with the women running in some of the most competitive districts and he signed an executive order related to abortion access. But Chris Cooper says this will also be key in the battle for the state Supreme Court, which is already getting national attention and could also affect abortion laws. I think it's going to be a proxy war fought by outside groups. Republicans need to flip one seat on the court to have a majority. The attention from voters and political observers should definitely be on the state Supreme Court and a very, very small number of state legislative seats. Political analysts say the two state Supreme Court seats on the ballot this year are likely to be among the most expensive judicial races in the country this year. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.